Hi everyone, I'm Farida and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever experienced gum bleeding? Bleeding gums are the first sign that gum disease including gingivitis and periodontitis is on its way. What are they? Gingivitis. Gingiva stands for gum. It is means inflammation. The inflammation in the gums. Periodontitis. Peri means around. Dont means teeth. It is, is inflammation. The inflammation in the structures around the teeth. Gingivitis and periodontitis are both gum disease or we call them periodontal disease. The disease that's around the tooth. Gingivitis is the mild form of gum disease. The most common cause of this disease is poor oral hygiene. Poor oral hygiene causes bacteria to build up plaque on the teeth. The plaque is a sticky collection of bacteria and protein in the saliva, or we can call it the biofilm. The layer of the plaque near the gum is tricky to be clean. This tiny group of bacteria can reach underneath the gum. If the plaque becomes hard and calcified, it's now called the dental calculus or the tartar. So this is the difference between tartar and the plaque. The tartar is hard to remove. It's a great home for more bacteria developing and all of this can start a gum inflammation. So what do we see in gingivitis? What we see is redness, enlargement of the gums we can have bad breath and bleeding especially after brushing and flossing that's why some patients refuse to floss if the calculus and plaque is removed the gingivitis is reversible and goes away but if gingivitis is left untreated increasing the bacteria from the plaque enters the bloodstream in the gum it can progress and spread to the underlying bone and tissues and can result periodontitis so what is periodontitis it's an advanced stage of gum disease the inflammation in all the tissue around the tooth where the gums periodontal ligaments and the jaw bones are seriously infected the bacteria in the plaque can produce acid and causing the gum to pull further away from the teeth and we'll have gum recession and we can have periodontal pocket and that can cause bone loss. Remember, the gums and the bone try to run away from the bacteria and the acid so it can cause bone loss until the tooth eventually can fall out. Periodontitis cannot be reversed especially when it goes to an advanced stage that we have bone loss and tooth falling. So the major difference between the gingivitis and periodontitis is that gingivitis can be reversible if we have a good oral hygiene. And in periodontitis, because it influences the underlying bone, it can be a permanent damage and causing a tooth loss so it's like a spectrum we have normal gums in the starting and then we have the inflammation that is the gingivitis and then in the advanced stage going towards the periodontitis bone loss and tooth loosing the treatment of gum disease depend on the severity of the disease in gingivitis, if you have a good oral hygiene habit like brushing twice a day, flossing, using mouthwash can reverse the gingivitis. If you have plaque and tartar that is hard to remove, you have to check yourself with a dental professional and you need a dental care like descaling and getting rid of the tartar. In periodontitis, you need the same good oral habit hygiene. So this would be the non-surgical treatment. but if there is severe bone loss, maybe you need surgical treatments. So at the end, figure out why your gums are bleeding. Bleeding gums aren't always a symptom of gum disease, though that's the most common reason they occur. Bleeding gums can be a symptom of other medical issues that have nothing to do with your dental hygiene, like hormonal changes, diabetes, heart disease, 
clotting disorders, blood thinning medications, genetic factors, contraceptive pills. If you suspect your bleeding gums are related to something other than poor brushing and flossing habits, see your doctor. Okay, and that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and press that bell button for getting notifications for the next video. Have an awesome day.